Welcome to Open Heavens Devotional Commentary, a guide to a close fellowship with God with Salami Energy Harina, your host. We are glad to have you today. Hello, good day and thank you for joining us today again. Open Heavens is written by our Father and the Lord, Pastor E.A. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And this commentary intends to bring insights to God's Word by the help of the Holy Spirit. Today's date is Tuesday, the 24th day of January 2023, and our topic for today is Flames of Fire, Part 4. Let us pray. Dear God, our Father in Heaven, we worship You, we bless Your name, we thank You for how You've preserved us, thank You for taking us out during the day, guiding us through all of our businesses, and bringing us back again safely. Thank you for your numerous and your countless blessings that we enjoy. Thank you for your grace and your mercy that we cannot even pay for. Thank you for your work that you do in us, transforming us daily to look more like you. We have come to receive of your word again. We ask that you would yet again work upon us. Form us into that vessel and that instrument that would be fit for your good work in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. You are welcome back. Our memory verse for today is from the book of Proverbs chapter 27 verse 17. Proverbs 27 verse 17 reads, Iron sharpened iron, so a man sharpened the countenance of his friend. Proverbs 27 verse 17. And our text for today is from the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 4 from verse 9 to 12. Ecclesiastes 4 verse 9 to 12 reads, Two are better than one, because they have a good reward for their labor. For if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow. But woe to him that is alone when he falleth, for he hath not another to help him up. Again, if two lie together, then they have heat. But how can one be warm alone? And if one prevail against him, two shall withstand him, and the threefold cord is not quickly broken. Ecclesiastes chapter 4 from verse 9 to 12. God bless the reading of his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Once more, our topic for today is Flames of Fire, Part 4. And in today's study, we have our Father in the Lord telling us that fire is very generous. If you have 100 candles to light, all you have to do is light one of them, and that one candle can be used to light the remaining 99. Fire lights up other materials that have the potential to carry it. Fire is always looking out for good materials that are flammable. In Deuteronomy chapter 34 verse 9, when Moses saw that Joshua was a good material, he imparted the spirit of wisdom into him. When Elijah saw that Elisha was a good material, he gave him a double portion of his power. Who are the good materials that you have noticed around you? People with potential to do exploits for God if only they could be mentored correctly. Get close to them and heat them up for God. You don't know how far that good material around you will burn for God if only you can bring him or her close enough to get some heat from you. I don't understand how some men of God try to quench the fire of others. Fire does not compete with itself. When fire meets fire, they joined forces to impact the environment even more. Is there someone else who carries fire around you? Put denomination aside and join forces to advance the kingdom of God. Individually, there are some obstacles that your fire may be too small to overcome, but when you come together, you can bring down very high mountains. When one fire seems to be going down, the moment it comes in contact with another, the new one rekindles it and makes it burn more. It amazes me that sometimes when children of God see another child of God going cold, they would rejoice and say they are minding their own business, rather than getting closer to the person and helping to rekindle his or her fire so that the person can burn even more for God. Fire burns better when it is in contact with other fires. You and other fires around you will burn better if you come together from time to time to rekindle one another. This is why you find pastors coming together to form associations 
so that everyone can ensure that nobody's fire goes down. Believe me honestly, you will burn better if you don't look away when you notice that the fire of someone else is going down. God bless his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our topic for today once more is Flames of Fire Part 4. So far we have studied the part 1, the part 2 and the part 3 of this topic. And you would agree with me that God has taught us a lot. He has opened our eyes and our understanding to grasp spiritual truths from these teachings. I am excited and I believe that we will never remain the same again in Jesus' name. When we studied the part 1 of our topic, Flames of Fire Part 1, we were made to understand that fire is distinct. Fire is not mistaken for something else and is identified for what it is. Hence, as believers, it is expected that our lives depicts that of a true child of God, that we are known and identified for what we stand for and what we represent. From our inward parts to that which men can see physically, our outlook and our appearance, we must represent Christ correctly. Hallelujah! We learnt in the second part of our topic that fire does not follow trends. We do not let the world dictate how we should go. Rather, we follow what brings God glory. We are not pressurized into anything. And we do not try to impress the world at the expense of displeasing our master. It does not matter how enticing any new trend would be, even if we would stand out as different amongst people. Hallelujah! Yesterday, we studied the part 3 of our topic, where we learned that fire cannot be ignored. It always affects its environment. We learned that as fire that God has made us, it is expected that everyone and everything around us is affected by the fire burning in us. We learned not to remain silent. Instead, preach the gospel, proclaiming it without fear. And we learned that when we do this, our Father in heaven himself will back the word up with signs and wonders following. Hallelujah! Today we have before us the fourth part of our topic. And today our Father in the Lord tells us that fire is very generous. We learn from our study today that as believers, we must look out for ourselves. In Mark chapter 3 verse 25, scripture tells us, And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. One of the greatest advantage of the believer is the power that is made available when he comes together with other believers. Our memory verse for today tells us that iron sharpeneth iron. And as believers, we understand today that we help to sharpen ourselves. No man operates at his ultimate alone. As a matter of fact, we need the gift of men and brethren around us to manifest fully that which God has entrusted to us. We can therefore say that it would be work against oneself to not look out for your brother. It is sad to note that we find today so many believers, just like our Father and the Lord already mentioned, trying to keep to themselves, trying to mind their own business. Part of our text for today in Ecclesiastes chapter 4 verse 9 says 2 are better than 1 and the reason is because they have a good reward for their labor. Verse 10 says, For if they fall, the one would lift up his fellow. If you understand how the military works, you would know that even in the face of war, they would hardly leave any soldier behind. When a soldier is wounded, for example, other soldiers would have to carry him and take him to safety, ensuring his protection all the way. Do not forget that we too are soldiers of Christ, and we have a joint enemy. If we must defeat him, then we must work as a team, knowing fully well that an injury to one is an injury to all. Practically speaking, as believers, it is expected that we carry the burden of other believers. When you see the fire of someone going down, do not sit back to accuse them, do not sit back to judge them. Do not form a committee to always update yourselves discussing that person's matter whenever you meet. Galatians chapter 6 verse 1 tells us, Brethren, if a man be overtaken in a fault, ye which are spiritual, restore such an one in the spirit of meekness. Verse 2 says, Bear ye one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. Hallelujah! Our Father in the Lord also emphasizes to us today that we can share this fire within us with others at no cost. He tells us to look around us, those people with the passion and the potential to do much for God. Locate them and let them be set ablaze. By so doing, you would be igniting that fellow at no cost to you. 
you would be equipping a fellow soldier. Our Father in the Lord today tells us to put denomination aside, put division aside, put age, tribal, ethnic, and all forms of limiting barriers aside. Let us join hands together to push the kingdom forward. We are told today that fire burns better when it is in contact with other fires. Nothing is more important to us than this, to reveal Jesus and to glorify him. I'd like us at this point to bow our heads and pray. You would agree with me that the body of Christ needs this unity that we talk about today. So we would be raising our cry to God, we'd be saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, by your grace and your mercy, unite us together as one body in Christ in Jesus' name. Regardless of tribe, regardless of any kind of differences amongst us, ask the Lord today to unite us. Ask the Lord today to put the love of other brethren in our hearts. Ask the Lord today to grant us that grace to see Christ in every other person. Ask him today to help us put our love for him above personal interest or gain. Ask the Lord today that we will not fail in the assignment he has committed to our hands. Ask him that as fire, we will join and partner with other brethren and like never before we will burn. Ask him that our world will feel our impact. The world would feel the warmth of the gospel of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, also pray and say, Father, raise men with the heart for your work in the name of Jesus. Men with passion, men with the desire to see thy kingdom come and thy will be done on earth. Ask the Lord today that he would raise among his people kingdom generals, men upon which his hand would be resting mightily. In the name of Jesus, also ask the Lord, say, Father, if there be any way that our fires may be going out, Lord, rekindle us again, set us ablaze for you in the name of Jesus. Let every fire burning out today receive fresh foil. Let it receive an impact that would last a lifetime. Oh, thank you, our Father, we bless your name. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Everlasting Father, we thank you and we appreciate you for your word today. Thank you for being gracious unto us again, revealing your heart to us. We ask that the grace to love our brethren and to look out for them you will grant unto us. Help us to sharpen ourselves and to remain sharp as we walk with you. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have a key point in our study today that says, Fire is generous and burns better when in contact with other fires. We receive the grace today not to lose contact with other fires around us in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. We want to thank you and appreciate you for joining us today. The Lord bless you. If you'd love to speak to someone or to receive updates like this sent to you daily, please do well to send a WhatsApp or Telegram message to plus 234 80 986 11226. Do well also to like, share, comment, and subscribe to our various platforms available. Our hymn for today is the hymn 12 of our Open Heavens devotional. We would be singing Onward Christian Soldiers. Have an awesome and amazing day ahead. See you tomorrow again by God's grace. God bless you and bye for now. I believe you enjoyed today's devotional. We'd love to hear from you. Kindly leave a comment. You can connect with us on any of our social media handles attached. God bless you. Have a great day and see you tomorrow.